Thank you for that. Before we move on to, well, that sounds awful. What can we do about it that doesn't involve cuts? I want to bring Jamie into this and put this in context for us because this may be much bigger than last time, and I want to get into that. Jamie, we've seen downturns in austerity before. In recent times, it's, all, it's always been followed by a recovery, at least of sorts. This time, you suggest that it's different. We seem to be facing what is really another Great Depression. And what does that tell us about what we need to do? Why do you think it's worse this time? And, and, and what, what do you take away from that? Yeah, I, I, Stephanie laid out a fairly bleak picture, but my view is bleaker still. And I think we probably agree. We've been through downturns before. Uh, and we've seen that the economy was able, and, uh, after a certain period of time, to recover from them. Uh, and by and large, the system simply went on. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be the case this time because there's a new element. There's a biological element, uh, which is persistent and which has not been dealt with. Uh, and it has happened at a time when the economy was exceptionally fragile because it, we'd been expanding for 10 or 12 years uh, on the basis of an enormous amount of private debt, student debt, uh, uh, credit card debt, corporate debt. Uh, and all of these uh, entities are highly leveraged. Uh, they lose their incomes for a period of months uh, and, by, and massively, you know, the 40 million people are seeking unemployment. Uh, and then their obligations are still there. Uh, and so they cut back on their spending. And uh, when they cut back on their spending and a great deal of their spending turns out to be things, first of all, they can't access. Secondly, they can do without for a short period of time. And that kills the tax basis of the states and localities. And so we're facing something, I think, fundamentally different, something which is not, we can't expect that in a, you know, if we just knuckle down, we'll be back to some previous normal in, in a year or 18 months. We're not going to be. We really have to think about what's valuable in the society and how to preserve that. And I would put uh, higher education, education generally, and higher education, especially public higher education, very much at the top of that list. If we don't preserve that, we won't have the assets, we won't have the basis uh, for uh, re reconstructing the society afterwards in a way that's necessary. So I would suggest that this really does require, it's, time is different and requires uh, something more than the, even the kind of thinking uh, that we've uh, applied and some success to past crises, because this isn't going to be the same.